Hello, this is Kristen Walton at Servantech, and in this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at how to add forms to our website using the RS Form Pro component. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is be sure you have RS Form Pro installed on your website, which you can purchase at rsjumla.com. Um, so we went ahead and installed the component on our site, and for any of those, uh, those of you who are new to Joomla, the way that you would do this is you would go in your back end to the extension manager. That's the first item under extensions. And here, um, you'll go down here to choose file. This is where you would choose the file that you downloaded from RS Form. Um, we've already installed it, like I said, so I don't need to go through this step. But once you select the file, click Upload and Install, it's going to take just a few moments to, to install the component, and you'll be able to go to your components menu item, and you'll select RS Form Pro Manage Forms. This is the first place we want to go to create a new form. So you'll see upon the installation, RS Form um, gives you a few example forms. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new one by clicking the New button. We're going to go ahead and skip the wizard, although if you want to go back and um, get some additional assistance with that, you can go ahead and use the wizard. So you'll see when you first um, have the opportunity to add a new form, you have um, two tabs, Components and Properties. Components is where you're going to go to add your form fields. Properties is where you're going to go to um, just make other changes. So let's go ahead and get started by adding our form fields and then we'll move over to properties and I'll show you what's available there. So um, it just takes a few simple steps to create a, create a basic form. Um, what we're going to do is create a volunteer opportunity form and the first thing we're going to do is add a text box. So I want to request that the user enter their name. So I'm going to type in name as the name of the field. We do need a caption. The caption is actually like the label beside the field. I want that to say name as well. I don't need a default value. I don't need a description. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I do want to make this field required. So if I choose the validations tab, I can choose yes, the field should be required. So I'm going to save and close this once I have once I have made this change. And the next thing I want to do is create a field for the email address of the user who's filling it out. So I'm going to call this one email. The caption will also say email. And um, the validation will be required. And I also need a validation rule here because I want to be sure this is a valid email address. So I just need to select email address as the validation rule and click save and close. Now the next item that I want to add is I want to find out what area um, these volunteers may want to participate in. So I'm going to go with a checkbox group and the reason I'm selecting this option instead of a radio group is because a radio group will, will allow um, the person filling out your form to only select one option. I want the user to be able to select multiple options if they want to volunteer in multiple areas. So the name of my field is going to be areas of interest and the caption is also going to be areas of interest. Um, the items are going to be office, work, events, staff, or fundraising. Um, I'm going to leave out a description. I think they can, they can understand what the areas of interest are. I do not want to require this field. I want it to be optional. So I don't need a validation. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, there is one other thing I want to do here. I want to go to the attributes and I want to be sure the layout of these fields is what I want. I actually want these to be displayed vertically. So I'm going to choose vertical as the flow. I'm going to save this and close it. And I'll create one more field, which is actually a text area. A text area is different than a text box, just in the size, really. This will allow people to enter more information. And I want them to be able to tell us a little about themselves. And um, 
I don't need a default value. I don't need a description. And for the validation, I'm not going to require this one either. So let's save and close. And finally, um, the last thing we need to do is get rid of this notification up here, which is telling us we need to include a submit button because we definitely want users to be able to submit the form. Let's call this submit. The label on the button is going to say submit as well. And um, we are going to save and close. Now there's a couple other things that we want to do before we check out how it looks, and that is under the properties tab. Um, I do want to keep this responsive CSS3 layout. I want to give my form a title though. Right now it does not have a title. So we're going to click the form info item on the left, and I'm going to call this um, volunteer oops, with us. And for the form name, I'm just going to say volunteer. Okay. Um, I do want to display a thank you message, and I want this to be customized to our website. So I'm going to create a little thank you message that will display on the screen after the user submits the message. save and close. And um, there's one final thing I want to do, and that is I want to set up notification emails for myself so that when a user fills out the form, I can receive an email alert. And the way that I do that is by selecting the admin emails option. And um, this is really great that it allows you to automatically pre-select from the fields in your form what information you want to use for these fields. So the from field, I want to use the email of the person who submitted the form. Um, the from name, I will uh, use the name of the person who submitted the form. Um, reply to, I want to reply to the email of the user and I want this to be sent to um, my own email address. So let's go with info at hungerrelief.org. This is just a fictitious email address. And then the subject line is going to say, um, you've received a form response. And um, you can then go ahead and edit the email text using those same tags that we used in the form. Um, but just to save on some time, I'll show you this is the text block where you can add it. But we are, for now, um, just going to skip over that so that we can take a look at the published form and um, you can get started on your own form. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close um, save and close my form and you'll see now we have a third form here called volunteer with us now um, what we need to do in order for people to be able to see this form is we need to display it in a menu item I have created a menu item but I have given it um, I've linked it to a Joomla article right now so I need to change that menu item so that it is now pointing to an RS form. So I'm going to go to the Join Us menu item, and looks like my server may be a little slow at this point, but let's just go ahead and update this to RS Form Pro. It's going to be a form, and I'm going to need to select which form it is. It's the volunteer form, and that's all, so let's save and close this menu item, and let's check out our form. If you go back to the front end of the website, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the home page, refresh the menu, um, and we'll be able to go down and click on 
the Join Us menu item. And once we arrive on the Join Us page, we will see our form. Here we have it. So those are the basics of setting up a, an RS Form Pro form on your website. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment in the, um, in the comments area on YouTube to let us know how, if this has been helpful to you and what types of video tutorials you'd like to see regarding Joomla and other components in the future. Talk to you later.